all right what's going on everybody welcome back dude so today we got a brand new update inside of wild hearts and it's actually a relatively small update but we did get a brand new kimono maybe not brand new but it's a it's a new alpha i should say that we got the alpha venom glider which comes with some new weapons new armor set we got a new ornament and we have a new way to fight deep volatile kimono now the new way to fight these guys we do get less rewards i'm not entirely sure what that means we're going to find out here in a second but the good thing is that we don't need keys to fight these versions of the deep volatile so that's actually really good so as long as the talisman drops stay the same i'm okay with that now if it's only like a chance to get a talisman per run then i'm not okay with that but uh <laughs> if we get less orbs with the same drop rate for the talismans that is uh that's a okay in my book so and that is pretty much the entirety of the patch notes if they have made other changes they have not you know made any patch notes or anything like that so maybe they forgot to put patch notes up but i also did not get a download for the uh the patch so maybe this was already in the game and it's kind of like flip the switch to turn everything on because i actually didn't get an update let me know in the comments if you got an update for this uh this patch because i did not and that's pretty much it for the update so we're, <laughs> we're gonna jump in we're gonna fight the alpha uh, venom blotter we're gonna see how hard the fight is how different he is from the normal venom blotter because the uh the normal venom blotter is not a kimono that i fight a lot like i do beat him up every now and again but uh so i'm actually really curious as to how this is going to turn out so we're going to jump to the game and uh, i shall see you guys in like two seconds all right and we are here dude okay so we got the alpha venom bladder kimono has been unlocked by the update all right let's uh let's see where he is assuming we have to go to side quests yeah there he is i, I also want to test this as well do emotes okay okay not too bad not too bad yeah you know we gotta we gotta also beat up the soul stalker we're gonna we're gonna fight the alpha kimono first and then we're gonna go beat up the soul stalker just to uh <laughs> just to see uh we should go to the, the falls now the alpha sap scourge he was uh pretty different from the normal sap scourge so i'm actually curious to see what this guy uh what he has up his sleeves but the alpha kimonos they're not as tanky as the uh the deep volatile so this hunt is probably gonna go fairly quickly i mean famous last words <laughs> but this mall build that i'm using right now is uh oh okay we got a little bit of a stutter right there okay yeah this mall build that i'm using right now is actually pretty insane so we're gonna use some attack food Let's see where he is hey he's right there what do you know now the build that I'm using, this is pretty much the same build from my uh, my mall build from a while ago. The 94% one scroll fury, 23% battle spirit. <laughs> Yo, so this uh this this fight probably isn't gonna take too long. Now usually I like to play around with the uh, the brand new kimonos before I just go in and try to kill them. I like to try to see all the new moves, you know what they changed about them. But uh, this guy, he he looks like a normal venom bladder. We're gonna jump. We're gonna put one of these on him though. Oh. I can here we go all right bro let's see what you got yo my game's hiccuping a little bit I'm gonna roar you know we'll just go in we'll 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 see his move set as we fight him boom okay that same move oh okay what just happened <laughs> oh my god okay bro <laughs> i see you homie okay that's definitely new i really don't want none of that go boom we already broke his horn okay he's a, he's sleeping he is asleep okay so this mall built is kind of I wouldn't say not fair, but this is this is like peak kimono paths right here. And usually I run uh, human paths, but I have not changed my build. Uh oh, in a few days, this is this is the main build I've been running here. Oh, all right, we're gonna hit you one of these. Ready to go? Oh my God, he. <laughs> 
bro, where'd he go? This man just, uh, he just deleted my entire health bar. Very well, bro. Very well. <laughs> yeah, he scared the hell out of me. Okay, so we got to get up out of there. As soon as we see that move, we are, we're gone. He's going to bounce on my grave, dude. Okay, now I could put a trap down here, but I ain't too worried about it. You doing it again? You doing it again? Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Okay. We're dead. Bro, he is popping off, dude. And now he's on skulls. Okay, so he's got some he got some sauce. He's got <laughs> he's got some sauce. But we know how this goes, man. The first couple runs are kind of like, okay, I see what you're doing here. And then the uh after that is usually just absolute just destruction. <laughs> so all right, so here we're gonna jump on. We're gonna put another uh, pile driver on him. Or he's done that move like a lot of times, dude. Here, here, eat one of these, bro. Where that move is crazy. I don't know where he goes when he does that. Oh, stay right there, please. Stay right there, homie. Boom. Now he's on fire. He's dead. He's absolutely dead. Oh, we got one stroke. Yeah, he's dead, dude. You don't live this. Yeah. <laughs> There's the one more hit coming. Yeah, he does live that. <laughs> you don't live that, bro. All right, man. I'm actually curious what the... Uh... Well, he's not a deep volatile, so he doesn't get a brand new talisman. Venom glider, horn, all that good stuff. Boom, three minutes, 31 seconds. Not bad, not bad. And we did wipe. Okay, so that's the thing with the new alphas, man. Like, like they got new moves, but they don't seem to be, uh, they still die just as fast as a normal, just volatile kimono. All right, so let's check out the armor and the weapons. Now for the armor, let's see what we got here. The Moonglow Princess Hairpin. We got Berlin Blow, what is that? That's a brand new skill. Increases the chance of leaving prey poisoned and boosts the power of attacks against poison kimono. Oh. And it's got poison wielder and deaf ears for human path. Hmm. Okay, that's actually a brand new skill. Virulent blow on here as well. Okay, so this is kind of like infernal blow. But it's on the armor. That's, see, infernal blow should have been on armor as well, man. That's one thing I think they uh, kind of dropped the ball on. The armors need to be more powerful. Now, what does it look like? Got a little hairpin action. The chest piece has pommel bolster and virulent blow and ironclad. Okay, uh, yeah. I guess we play into like a poison hammer. Okay, that looks crazy. What the? <laughs> it looks like Lubu. All right, so the armor design wise, I'm gonna have to give it a uh, not for me out of 10. <laughs> not for me at all. So the gloves, we got virulent blow again, dude. What is going on here? They want you to really go into poison, huh? And desperation. Okay, so the gloves actually may not be that bad. And then strong arm protection, 18%. Yeah, this is definitely a, uh, a kimono path armor set right there. Then we got the moon glow princess loincloth, which is not really a loin, it's like a dress. I don't know why they call it that. Stand tall, anti-toxin. Rally, ironclad, 5%. Okay, so not so much. Pummer bolster on the boots. Okay, dude. Okay, the boots are good. The, <laughs> the boots are pretty good. Pummer bolster on the boots. Hover, death will, and one screw critical, 30%. Okay, I'm going to have to give uh, the boots are good and the gloves are pretty good. If you're running a poison build on Kimono Path. And then, I guess, you know, I would have to... This is a very weird armor set. I would have to play around with some builds here, but the boots are probably the best piece out of this. If you're going a uh, human path hammer, 
our human path um like, like canon but all in all i would say that the armor set is uh it's just okay it's okay we'll have to test this virulent blow see how good it actually is but all in all the armor is i would give it uh it's it's all right now let's check out the weapons i believe there is uh, there it is oh way over here okay so we got whoa that looks crazy dude what is that extended wrap poison wielder virulent blow okay that's i retract my previous statement about the armor set dude that's poison wielder and more virulent blow that might be pretty good and you know what i just thought about if you combine the virulent blow with the uh the toxic shock talismans okay dude we might we might be cooking with something here now the other one we got critical boost fury ice wielder crit master but the weapon has no crit on it at base hmm yeah i don't know how i feel about that one this one is pretty good not gonna lie not gonna lie at all dude let's check out the uh katana critical boost ice wielder speed blade boost fury 20 percent poison wielder 10 percent okay so uh we can reroll that so that's actually not that bad i wouldn't normally use speed boost but the poison wield on there that's actually pretty good dude okay so we clearly are meant to build into the poison now the no dachi what do we got here man i'm assuming the same thing yeah oh god damn. okay dude i gotta make a build with this just because of what that sword looks like dude oh my god i gotta see that in game this is gonna be the first weapon that i that i make for sure hands down dude charge boost fury ice wielder i mean poison wielder barrel and blow okay dude that looks pretty cool not gonna lie curry curry staff critical boost fury okay same thing same thing that looks pretty clean as well okay so i'm assuming they all have the same thing i'm not the biggest fan of all the weapons having the same roles i mean i guess the the first inherent skill is different able archer ice wielder Fimrio lightning arrow poison wielder okay check the what's next the cannon yeah the cannon critical boost fury ice wielder key based deployment plus two hmm and then virulent blow and then we have what's what am i missing the wagasa i actually don't have a wagasa <laughs> we're gonna have to and a claw blade okay i gotta make a claw blade and a wagasa so with the claw blade ranging skill ironclad poison wielder aerial combat and last but not least the wagasa didn't mean to equip that we got parry instinct uh instinct parry okay this skill kind of sucks though if it was like a 50 50 chance i think it'd be pretty cool and then for this one we got parry boost fury 15 percent ice wielder okay this this might not be bad dude this might actually be pretty good and i like i don't play wagasa much but the parry boost fury with the uh the poison wielder along with the toxic shock talismans we might be uh you might be working with some pretty good damage right there and i believe that is all the weapons now it is time to go beat up us a deep volatile i don't know who we're gonna fight here i gotta put my weapon back on so the question here is whether or not we're going to get a uh oh, we actually got three revives as well i did not see that one okay so that's actually a pretty big change let's go in here let's uh let's see what we can do here hey buddy okay so we got three revives which is kind of crazy let's go here i've also not used an odachi in a while dude let's see if i still got the sauce all right all right we are good uh oh jump over this boom let's see if we can get that tail cannot one stroke is active yeah i really hope that we get the uh, uh oh i really hope we still get the talisman drops but normally we get around eight orbs i want to say oh it's gonna hit me Ugh! oh no that's bad timing <laughs> uh oh But yeah normally we get uh like eight orbs and then i always thought that move should hit twice i always thought it was weird that it hit once i keep losing my train of thought but yeah we usually only get like eight orbs from a deep volatile but maybe we'll get a little bit more this time i mean not a little bit more but maybe we'll get the talisman with just less orbs let's go for a little 
Stab, stab. Oh, he's on the ground. Okay. My buddy's so stuck. I'm sorry, bro. This is all for demonstration purposes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need this tail, though. All right. We did not get the tail. And I'm also missing a bunch of damage because I'm not activating my hunter's hunger. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna heal. And then we're gonna get our hunter's hunger. And that should be wraps. What? Get over here. Give me. Boom. All right, now we got the hunter's hunger. And now. This is a. Uh, might get bad for you, bro. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, we're committing. <laughs> we're committing to that. There's no, there's no way I was gonna let that slide, dude. Boom. Boom. Let's see if we can get the face. He should turn right here. No, he did not. Hey, buddy. Need you. Gonna need this hit. Gonna go way up in the air for this one. We missed. <laughs> we just great missed. Oh, what just hit me? Whoa, what did I get hit by? And boop. All right, let's not die here. Let's actually not die. Hey buddy, he does not want to be a uh, cooperative, bro. Oh my, what, bro? How is he still alive? Get, how are you still alive, sir? Thank you, holy, this man. <laughs> Although I, I was playing a little bit off. Let's see what we got here. All right, so talisman or no talisman? Moment of truth. I think that was about, that was about three minutes. Somewhere around there. Okay, so we get, oh, we didn't get any talismans, dude. Okay, no, 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 dude. That's uh, we got less orbs and we did not get a guaranteed talisman drop. Yeah, this is pretty much dead in the water right here. There's no reason, <laughs> there's no reason to do these. No reason at all. I mean, I guess if you're training, because it, it does say uh, deep volatile training. So I can see the benefit in this with people who are, they're not getting a chance to actually learn to fight because they're dying. So I can, I, I can understand that. Okay, so like, it kind of sucks that you don't get a talisman drop guaranteed. I don't even know if you get one, you know, at all during this, we have to do it a couple more times, but I get it. This is for people to train, learn the fights, not get one shot and have to restart all over. So, uh, not too bad, man. Can't complain. So all in all, man, the update is fairly small. There's not a whole lot going on. The new armor set is okay. Some of the weapons are pretty dope. So there's definitely some stuff to grind out here, but uh, there's not a whole lot, I guess, going on still. And the way that the development team seems to be going, like they're releasing uh, like updates once a month, which is completely fine. I do wish they kind of had like a, uh, like a community manager type deal going on. I think that would help these guys out a whole bunch if they had somebody just, uh, not giving away all the details, but just communicating to some degree, even if it's just like once a week, because at this point it is a little bit rough, you know, getting more people or brand new people to come play the game. But yeah, dudes, that's pretty much the update in a nutshell. We got the brand new kimono, the armor sets, the deep volatile fights, and that is pretty much it. So yeah, man, do I think this is gonna bring a lot more people back to the game? uh probably a little bit they're gonna come back they're gonna play it and then they're going to go off into the sunset doing whatever else <laughs> they were they were doing before but uh any update is always a good update but i do wish that instead of just dropping one of these alpha kimonos you know once every month i do believe they should drop these in bundles man drop like two to three of these bad boys all at once that way the uh, the entire you know meta and not, not really meta but the entire way you play the game shifts that way you could be three alpha kimonos three new armor sets 
three weapons like if they could just drop the batch maybe like maybe three is too much maybe like two like like two to three alpha kimonos per drop i think that's a good idea i think that's that'll do you know pretty well at least for build crafting and i believe i also said this in a, another video but i do think that we need harder kimonos we need harder battles we need somewhere to take these you know builds that we're making we need some type of end game I wouldn't say insane battle but like we have to go somewhere where we can like we have to be geared out we have to be you know have a good build together we have to have our armor fully limit broken all of that stuff because as of right now dude our hunters are so powerful that pretty much everything in the game just gets absolutely melted as you can see from the soul stalker the new venom bladder like our guys are just way too powerful at the moment and that's a good thing it's always a good thing building up your character over time having them being absolutely insane but we do need some type of challenge in the game i think that's one of the things that's one of the reasons why i don't play as much anymore because i've pretty much mastered all the deep volatile fights i've beaten them all you know I don't know how many times and the real difficulty only really comes when i try out a brand new weapon but i pretty much use all the weapons at this point i'm still a little bit lacking on the bow and the wagasa but given enough time i would absolutely master those weapons as well but yeah man that's enough rambling for me man let me know how you guys feel about the update down below is this going to bring you back to wild hearts is it going to make you play more wild hearts let me know how you're feeling down below man if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe all the other channel is down below and also also if you're interested in final fantasy 16 man we're going to be playing that game next week i yeah uh, i can't wait to get my hands on that game dude been playing the demo absolutely insane man but yeah dudes hope you guys have a good one and uh i'll catch you guys next time man peace take it easy